The beauty community has been an influential industry with millions of followers and endless streams of products and tutorials. However, in recent years, there has been growing scrutiny and criticism towards the community and its practices. In the center of this, Bretman Rock has recently made waves by exposing the truth about the beauty community. In this video, we'll dive into the details of Bretman's expose and what it reveals about the beauty industry as a whole. Let's get started. Bretman Rock participated in Them's video series, Becoming, which was released on Thursday. During the interview, he discussed key moments in his career as a beauty influencer. One of the topics he touched on was his 2021 live stream where he announced his departure from the beauty community. In the Them interview, Rock reflects on the remarks he made in the live stream saying, I stand by what I said. The beauty community has been negatively impacted by white individuals and I am choosing to leave. Despite some backlash, Rock remains steadfast in his decision to move on from the industry. After gaining popularity on Vine in 2014, Rock expressed his admiration for other creators and desire to share his confidence and makeup with the world. However, he eventually left the beauty community due to the drama that plagued it and the industry's focus on profit. Rock was very disappointed when outsiders came in and changed the community's dynamics, leading to a negative and unsightly environment. This decision to step away from the community was not unique, as many other beauty influencers were also involved in controversies and scandals during this time. For example, in 2018, several influencers, including Jeffree Star, Laura Lee, Manny Gutierrez, Nikita Dragoon, and Gabriel Zamora, were bogged down in a scandal known as Dramageddon after old racist tweets resurfaced. During 2020, James Charles, a beauty influencer, faced accusations of engaging in sexually inappropriate conversations with minors, having a public feud with fellow influencer Tati Westbrook, and releasing a defective makeup palette in 2018 that resulted in users experiencing hives. Insider received allegations from multiple individuals in 2020 claiming that Jeffree Star, another beauty influencer, committed sexual assault, physical violence, and attempted to silence them with hush money. Star's legal representative denied the claims of physical and sexual violence in the article, labeling them as untrue and defamatory. The beauty community controversies resulted in a trend of apology videos where individuals like Lee and Charles shed tears. Rock, in his Them interview, criticized their inadequate apologies. He emphasized the importance of acknowledging mistakes, apologizing, and committing to not repeat the offense. Instead, Rock observed a pattern of making excuses, avoiding genuine apologies, and continuing the problematic behavior. According to Rock, the beauty industry transformed into the sorry industry, but he refused to adapt to this trend and apologized for his statements. Before we move ahead, if you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now, let's continue. During his interview with them, Rock acknowledged that it was Asian women who inspired him to begin his beauty journey. According to Rock, he developed an admiration for makeup artists when he first entered the beauty industry, and it motivated him to pursue his passion of spreading confidence and makeup tips to a wider audience. The beauty community, which was a thriving and popular space for makeup fanatics, has recently come under scrutiny for its toxic and problematic practices. From allegations of racism and discrimination to rampant consumerism and product pushing, the community has been exposed for its darker side. One of the biggest issues in the beauty community is its lack of diversity and inclusivity. Despite the vast collection of skin tones and types, many brands and influencers have been criticized for not catering to all demographics. From limited shade ranges to tokenism, the industry has a long way to go in terms of representation. The community has been accused of perpetuating harmful stereotypes and promoting unrealistic beauty standards. With the rise of social media, influencers and brands alike have placed a heavy emphasis on flawless skin perfectly contoured features, and full lips. This obsession with perfection has led to a toxic culture of comparison and insecurity among consumers. The beauty industry is also famous for its rampant consumerism and product pushing. With influencers promoting new products every day and brands constantly releasing new collections, it can be difficult for buyers to keep up. This endless cycle of consumption not only puts a strain on wallets, but also contributes to environmental issues such as waste and pollution. Well, the beauty community has also been exposed for its culture of drama and negativity. From public feuds to canceled culture, influencers and consumers have been criticized for their toxic behavior. This negativity not only harms the individuals involved, but also contributes to a toxic environment for those who are just trying to enjoy makeup and beauty. However, it is important to note that not all aspects of the beauty community are negative. The community can provide a safe space for self-expression and creativity, and many brands and influencers have used their platforms to advocate for important issues such as sustainability and mental health. 
In the end, while the beauty community has provided a space for makeup enthusiasts to share their passion, it has also been exposed for its toxic and problematic practices. From a lack of diversity and inclusivity to rampant consumerism and drama, the industry has a long way to go in terms of improving its practices. As buyers, we have the power to hold brands and influencers accountable and demand change for a more positive and broad beauty community. What's your take on this topic? Tell us in the comments section below. With that being said, it's time to end our video today. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.